Hello, this is Lee from The Game Creators, and today I'm happy to announce the release of the first ever alpha build of Game Guru Max. Now I'm going to give you a little whistle-stop tour of the editor, but before that I want to show you how to install it. Now all pre-order users will have a TGC account. All you've got to do is go to that account, go to the product page, you'll see Game Guru Max pre-order, and you'll see a file. Download that file, it's about a gigabyte in size. Once you have the file, you can extract it. You'll then have two files. You've got the installer executable and then a bin file. So I've put these on my desktop just to demonstrate the process. So we're gonna double click on the installer executable. Specify a location, now this is important. Unlike Steam, which takes care of write access for you, when you actually install the installer yourself, you've got to make sure that the folder you're gonna put Game Guru Max into has write permissions. Now, you can put it into the program files, sure, but then you have to run as administrator. So I recommend, just for the purpose of the alpha build tests, that you put it either on your desktop or some location on your hard drive where you know you have full write access. So as you see, by default, it's going to dump it to desktop. I can also put it, for example, to the root folder of my C drive, which I'm going to do now. So I'm going to slide to the top, select my C. As you can see, it automatically completes Game Guru Max. Click OK, and then go to Next, and then select Next again, and then finally click Install. Towards the end of the installation, it asks you to install the DirectX redists. I highly encourage you to do that, so we're going to go through that process. When the DirectX redist installer finishes, select Finish, and then Finish the main installer, and we're done. The next thing you can do is delete the two installer files. We don't need those anymore. So we'll delete those and move our brand new desktop icon to the top. All you're going to do now is double click the icon. So a very warm welcome to Game Guru Max, the very first alpha version. As you can see, the graphical style has been upgraded. And so it's got this sort of a cool edge to it now. So again, you can do the usual things. You can go to the user guide. And uh, as you can see, there's a few pages to add. <laughs> We've got a title page. Uh, we go back to the software. You can then click the Create button, and we can start creating. And almost right away, you can see there are some differences here. So instead of having the uh, UI crammed into the bottom right corner, we've now got a dedicated panel. Watch the previous sneak peek videos for an in-depth overview of all of the different parts. But this is the alpha build. This will look different than all of the previous sneak peek videos because this is the one which has the final icons and very much closer to the UI you're going to get on release. But that doesn't stop me giving you a very quick whistle-stop tour. We'll start by loading in a level. So we can load in one that I've provided for you called Sample Level, which loads in the various elements of, and then you can click with the new test game icon. We've got a nice new splash for your keyboard controls. And as you can see, it shows you some of the things that we've added since the Game Guru Classic, which of course is rain. Now we're going to watermark all of these just to make it absolutely clear that you're not looking at the finished Game Guru Max product. What you're seeing now is not what you're going to be seeing on the release of Game Guru Max. We're going to have a better terrain, we're going to have nicer graphics, and it's all going to run on glorious 64-bit, which gives you an enormous amount of memory to play with. So popping back into the editor, let's have a quick look at what we've got. So if you select terrain, you've obviously got the terrain tools. As you can see, you've got terrain, you can paint the terrain, you can then paint some new grass. So that's the terrain tools. I can quickly show you the path. So this is the waypoints tool. As you see, it replaces the terrain tools with this one. So we can click this draw waypoint. And if I actually come out a little bit so you can see it a bit better, I can draw a waypoint all the way around there without you really having to do it node by node. There's another panel as well. If you go into the structure editor, the camera will change perspective to make it easier to start painting your floor right away. But you'll notice here, you've actually got some extra panels. You've got one, for, it's called structure properties. You've got buttons for parts, the controls, you can choose your textures. So we'll just close that one down. And of course there's one more, which is the character creator. So we'll select that one. And here we go, we've got a man and a woman. So this is the man, and this is the woman. 
Now, there's not a huge selection to choose from. These are all going to be crafted for Game Guru Max. So let's create a character really quickly. And this is Lee. And um, we'll sh give her a hat, give her some lovely glasses to wear, maybe some shoes, some black shoes, and then we'll save this character. Cool thing about these characters is the properties. So we'll drop down Mrs. Lee here. We shall select her, go to properties, and another properties. This is the entity properties panel. As you can see, you've now got behavior drop downs. So follow waypoint is the default. I can also do get close and speak. I can record a voice. Hello, my name is Mrs. Lee. And the little yellow icon shows that it's generating lip sync data as we speak, but you don't really have to wait for that. You can go straight in and press test game. Now let's see if we can locate the woman. There she is. Hello, my name is Mrs. Lee. I'm talking in funny voice, you know. Oh dear. Oh dear. There it is. That's how easy it is to create a character and set a behavior. Of course, for brand new users, they'll want extra help. So we have something called Getting Started Tutorial, which is a built-in tutorial system complete with a video, series of steps. It's completely interactive and it works with the editor. There's a sneak peek video on that. I think it's pretty cool. Of course, not forgetting another thing, which of course is the really cool new entity. So as you can see in this particular graphical style, you get a transparent entity library window. So obviously you can scroll, you can search. Let's see if we just search for rock. Just shows you the rocks. We're going to filter for that. You can go straight to your markers. So we'll pick a nice yellow light. Drop that over on top of her. And of course, let's say you wanted lots of rocks. You can just hold down control, select them all. And when you click add eight to game, it will instantly add them all to your library. So you can drag them into your scene. Super simple. So as you can see, we've put everything of importance right at the top. Opening, saving levels, painting paths, entity mode selections, character creator, structure editor, and the importer. And of course, the obligatory test game, VR mode test, and multiplayer mode. These will be covered in future sneak peek videos. So I hope you've enjoyed this hopefully very quick sneak peek video. Until the next time, thanks very much for watching. Check out the link below for a great discount on GameGuru Max. Don't forget next Wednesday we're going to do a live broadcast full of GameGuru Max goodness. So go to the GameGuru forums and check out when that's going to be. Also, don't forget to subscribe and please do share this video.